So what this hack says is that if you put your card into an ATM, take the money out, if you quickly go to another ATM and do it again, you can take out your daily limit twice. That basically the computer doesn't have enough time to catch up and- Like side-by-side and... -side ATM. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. We need to allow the audience to know if this hack worked. Uh -huh. The only way we can do that is if we have you have a hidden camera on you. You know what I'm imagining right now? I'm gonna show up and it's like, here's our hidden camera and our entire crew's gonna be there wearing camos. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we're doing is we're making a hidden camera for JM because he thinks he's so awesome right now. <laughs> we don't want to trust his words, so we're making a boutonniere GoPro for him. Um, Out of only the finest materials, like <laughs> from Michael's. hemp yarn. I think you're good to go, man. Out of GoPro. Look at that. You look so dapper. Guys, I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I gotta say I kinda like it. There's a hack out there that says that if you drop your soda, you can tap on it, either on the side or on the top. And that will apparently de it. So we're going to test this theory. And John Michael is our judge? Subject? Subject. One, two. I'm well, going top, you're going side. All right. Okay. Uh, there is a hack to make peeling a hard-boiled egg easier. One of the ways in which you do this is to boil some water with some baking soda in it. So we're gonna try it out. These are marked as bees, so we're gonna put them in the water. And these here are gonna be our control eggs. Ah, I thought, I'm just kidding. There we go. And, um... All right, so here I am with my hidden camera. I'm gonna go do this. <laughs> So we have the we have the GoPro app and we can watch it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh look, he keeps messing with me. <laughs> 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 okay. are finished being boiled and we're gonna see which method works the best. We have a control egg. We have the baking soda egg. We have an egg we're gonna crush and we have an egg that we're gonna smother with some olive oil. So we're gonna try with the control first. Just, you know, regular, see, see how it goes. Right, everybody knows, look at this. All right, so now let's go to the baking soda egg. Here it goes. It's actually far easier. So I would say, but the baking soda hard boiled egg hack works. This is a crush egg, so what we're gonna do is crush it just the way that like a lot of people do. They do this kind of crushing system. Yeah, this is a mess. The last one is olive oil. Smother it up real good. It's pretty easy. It, hard boiled egg right open to the yolk and that is what happened. Maybe a little bit less with the olive oil. The baking soda egg hack crack works. Crack. Team baking soda. Love it. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> Tell uh, us. First of all, the camera worked phenomenally well. You're welcome. I'm not in jail. I went to a competitor's bank because I wanted to give the hack the best chance possible to work, and I figured a competitor's bank, it'd be harder for them to sync up the computer computers fast. I went to the ATM machine, I put in my card, and I typed in my wrong PIN number. I was actually nervous. Typed in the wrong pin number three times. My daily limit is $500. So in the first ATM, I, I took $400 out. Okay. Just under the limit. I switched over to the next ATM, put the card in, and I took $200 out. So just, just above the limit. Sure. Totally worked. I think if I could go 100 over, I bet I could have done five and five. Sure, or right. Definitely 400 and 400. Something to test out. I think this is actually a really great life hack for People on weekends, yes. if you're on vacation, it's night, you can't go into the bank to pull out your own account, like, you know, you don't have to worry about your limit. All right, so I know you guys put a lot of effort into this amazing hidden camera. So much effort. It's so I used it for another hack. I snuck Ooh. into a mall. Snuck into, into a mall? mall. Okay. <laughs> oh I snuck enough. into a public place. I actually used it in the mall to try out what is known as the vending machine hack. 
on a Coke machine, if you press the buttons in order, four, two, three, one, or on a Pepsi machine, it's one, three, two, four, the diagnostic screen comes up and you can check a bunch of stuff on the machine. So sure enough, I went in, I did the four, two, three, one, and the uh, one, three, two, four, and it works. The screen changes a bit and it has some options and it's not intuitive at all. Like, I don't know which button does which. I just started pressing everything. Right. But you can find like total sales for the machine. You can find the sales for each individual drink, the internal oh. temperature. There's probably a lot of other stuff you can do. The thing I found amazing is the machines I went to had between fifty and $70,000 in sales and they look like pretty new machines. So that's actually big business. I don't know, huh. but if this doesn't work out for us, yeah. you can get in the vending machine business. Hell yeah. No kidding. You guys ever been to Tokyo? Oh, vetting machines everywhere.